In this video, we're gonna be building a DIY basketball hoop out of cardboard. You can literally make this right now, stick it up in your room, and have tons of fun with your friends and siblings. Get your materials in order, and let's begin. You can use a cardboard box to make the board of the basketball hoop, just like this, but I'm gonna choose this styrofoam piece, just because of the color. Choose a flat piece of cardboard and cut out two rectangular strips. This is gonna act as the rim of our basketball hoop. The dimensions and the measurements will be provided in the planner, which you'll find in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Once you have the two rectangular strips cut out, we're gonna start curling each portion of it. So this curvature will form the rim of your basketball hoop. Apply generous amounts of hot glue to stick both the identical pieces of strips together and this is gonna basically make your rim a lot sturdier. We're gonna stick that rim onto a flat piece of cardboard. This is just a rectangular piece that's gonna help retain the shape of the rim. We can even glue this rim directly onto the board, but I just thought that this rectangular piece of cardboard will actually help preserve the curvature of this rim. Once you're done with that, let's move on to the strings. I just chose this cheap cotton string, but you can basically use any other string, any thin rope or anything of that sort. Basically anything works. Apply a little bit of hot glue and basically Fold that string in half and attach it to the rim. Repeat this step until you cover all the areas, all the circumference of this rim and you're good to go. These have been stuck to the outer side whereas these are stuck in the inside because we're gonna stick the rim to the board. To start the knotting process, we're gonna take one string from each adjacent section and tie a basic knot, just follow the video and you're good. But essentially, you want to tie one knot and use that as a reference to tie the other knots and you want to have consistent spacing because if you have distorted spacing, your net is going to look horrible. Once you're done with the first batch, it already looks pretty good. You want to continue that same process with the rest of the strings. So take that one string from each section, form a diamond and tie that same knot and use that knot as a reference to tie the other knots in that section. Just a friendly reminder that this DIY basketball hoop is only for your soft plastic balls at home, so don't throw anything heavier on it. Once you're done with all the knotting, you want to reach to the final stage where I basically used some hot glue and made sure these strings would no longer um, kind of tear off because I don't have space to tie a knot with that, um, with that length. It's time to hot glue this rim onto the board. I made some reference marks on it and you just want to use generous amounts of hot glue and stick that rim onto the styrofoam board. And this thing needs to be nice and sturdy, so be sure to use a lot more hot glue on the sides so that it does not get damaged very easily. But you're not done yet. This thing is made out of cardboard, so we need to add some support underneath. I'm going to use these cheap wooden sheets, uh, or you can use cardboard, but essentially these are 1 8 of an inch thick wooden sheets and I'm just gonna glue two of them together and basically this thing is going to sit underneath the rim perpendicular to the board and basically keeping this basketball hoop nice and supported. If you don't provide this support this basketball hoop will tend to uh, slant on the front uh, front curvature and it's gonna look pretty terrible over time. Thank you. 
and you can see it's so nice and sturdy you can literally bam your hand on it and it does not get damaged very easily I'll just leave the decorations up to you I'm just using this electric tape to form a box on the foam board for shooting reference <laughs> 